Welcome back guys, my name is 111, Lego Reviews 111, and today I have the new Lego Marvel Superhero Sets, and this is based off the Ultimate Spider-Man show, it is ages 7 through 14, set number 76016, Spider Helicopter Rescue, 299 pieces. Now this set does come with four minifigures, one of them is big, and you know, three out of the four are exclusive to this set. Um, so, and it is, does retail for $44.99, and right now it is available at Lego stores, but now, um, after this video, it's going to be available everywhere, um, and definitely by March 1st, all these sets will be released to the public in all stores, all shapes and forms. So, yeah, let's, anyways, let's get on to the close-up of the set. Okay, so the first minifigure I have to show you is... Spider-Man. Now, of course, you can't have a Spider-Man set without a Spider-Man, and we've seen him quite a few times, actually. And it's not that I'm getting annoyed of him, I just wish, you know, Lego would maybe change something with him. Maybe, um, you know, just, just something. Um, so we have the iconic Spider-Man logo on him with those nice details on there and the pecs, going up to the iconic head with the big eyes, you know, just like a spider. Um, and then on the back we have the red spider, and just more of the detail lines that you know that make him very make him who he is and um, he does come with a his accessory is a web piece so you can use that as like webbing things and kinda like in the um, kinda like in the sense that you know he's webbing around so that's a nice little accessory that he's starting to come with now in these newer sets so just something that adds to it so yeah that is spider-man now the next minifigure I have to show you is Mary Jane, and uh, this is actually a good minifigure. Um, I've noticed that this it's a, it's a really good headpiece for people that you know you take them off and use them for other things like customizers. Um, but um, for me, it does really good for Mary Jane. Uh, so we have the nice red hair that Mary Jane has, and I thought you know obviously she is a female, so they add the hourglass kind of uh, curved look to her. And then I love the I Heart Spider-Man on her shirt. She looks just like she did in the video game. And we have this nice face right there. That's a good face with the little dimples on there. Um, it's overall just a nice female figure. And she has the sleeveless tank top down to the nice blue pants. And show you the double side head and back printing. So obviously the damsel in distress face um, because the Green Goblin takes her. And then the back of the tank top, obviously, with the hourglass back printing. So, a very cool figure. Love the hairpiece, too. Um, these hairpieces tend to fall off easily, but I think Lego's gotten over that over the years. So, the hairpiece is getting better. It's growing on me. It's growing on me. Uh, so, yeah, that is Mary Jane Watson. So, the next minifigure we have is Power Man. Um, now, he is one of the members of, like, this Shields, like, uh, young group of heroes, kind of like the equivalent to DC's Young Justice, and Lego's made four out of the five characters from that group, so um, here's Power Man. Um, he's very cool. He was in the Lego video game, and it's nice to have an African-American um, character. Um, I, you know, we have the glasses on it, so it's just an overall really good character. And we can see his nice little chest plate there with the pecs, and I like the black on yellow, kind of like a bumblebee. <laughs> And on the back we have more shoulder pad or shoulder blade detailing. And move around. It's just really cool. And one of my favorite customizers actually, his name's Christo, made this figure. He made this printed custom figure. This is not it, obviously. But um, I kind of kind of feel bad for him because he made it right before Lego released it. So um, anyways, this is the official Lego one. And very cool to add to the little shield game. <laughs> so little gang, actually. So, a uh, very cool minifigure to have. So, the final minifigure in the set is the Green Goblin. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys are like, that's not Green Goblin. Yes, this is the one from the TV show and the one that was also in the video game. And, yep, he is a big figure, our first big figure besides Hulk. So, I guess with this trend that Lego, you know, said people do like the Hulk, so let's keep doing it. And I, I do like him. The Lego video game had... Lego like Marvel video game had tons of them, and I'd really appreciate it if they made more of them just like this. This is a really great color. It's a nice olive green, and uh, so yeah, let's take a look at it. 
these arm pieces are a few pieces together. So we take it off and we see the hole there where this little Technic pin goes into and the hand itself is a Technic pin as well. So you just snap that on right there. It goes on just like that. And I really love the suit he's wearing. The suit is black on the legs and has like um, these nice shiny silver plated, um, you know, guard <laughs> guardrails, <laughs> you know, overall um, padding. Um, it's really nice little shield armor there. Very cool. Down t uh, up to the face where we see the nice goblin ears and the nice green eyes and her. And obviously he can't have a double-sided head. So let's move to the back in the black suit and we can see the armor going around. And overall, a nice big figure. I know a lot of people weren't a big fan of it. And I don't know why. Because, um, you know, we don't get to see this stuff very often. And I'm pretty sure kids really do appreciate it. Um, just like I do. So um, I love the olive green too. <laughs> I think I've said that. Um, it's obviously a nice big figure and very something I, I'm glad I have in my collection. So that's it for the minifigures and let's get on with the set. Okay, so let's take a look at the set itself. Now it's just two vehicles, um, nothing too spectacular, but let's just take a look at the Goblin Glider first. Now if you've seen the uh, Green Goblin anything, the, either the... Um, the original Spider-Man movies or um, the cartoons and stuff. This is a very, you know, basic design that they use for all of them. You know, we have the flat base here and the wings for aerodynamics and, you know, just for him to be able to go fast and hover and whatnot, whatever these things do. Um, it does have three stickers on it. We have the two Oscorp on the side, which automatically just show that Oscorp is bad. <laughs> Anyways. And then this front kind of sticker detail with the mechanics on the glider itself. And we have a blaster on both sides. And of course we have flick fire missiles in the back. So there we go. That one was good. That one was good. And uh, let's show you how the goblin goes on it. There's these two studs right here. And they just snap. Make sure I can get it actually. And it just snaps on like that. And it's really easy, and it's actually, it looks pretty cool. I like it. Um, so that's the glider. And now let's take a look at the helicopter. Now, I believe this helicopter, the exact same design, is in the LEGO video game as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. And let's take a look at it. Uh, it does have two cockpits in there. One in the first one and one in the back. But to actually get to the first one, you have to open up the back one. So... It does have two stickers in there. We have the keypad on the left and the little hand scan um, on the right and it has little analog sticks on both of them. And then a minifigure like Power Man can easily just sit down and man that cockpit. So pretty cool. And in the back we have more like it kind of like is a deployment uh, mix play feature. Take Spider-Man and try to get him down in there to show you. He just snaps on right there and then if you push this little peg in the back he should just deploy out and then just go and kill whoever he needs to. And then um, on both sides we have these gigantic uh, you know wind turbines to help you know it glide and hover. Um, very cool neat designs with big wheel piece and the spinning propeller in the center. And then we have the giant propeller on top. Show that. Very cool. And on the back here, we just have more stuff for um, gliding and, you know, just overall help the aircraft move um, quickly. And then both sides of that are symmetrical. These little rotors on there. Get off. <laughs> and, anyways, and on both sides, we have uh, two functions we have the flick fire missiles. There's four. And you can push this peg back here and launch two at a time. So, And then I guess we'll do a 3D launch. <laughs> and so that's that. And then on this side, I actually took it out, but you take the net and then you can shove it in there. I guess you got to kind of fold it up, but I'll just see if we can shove it in there. Um, and then you just push and shoot it out. And that is it for this set. 
Um, so let's go ahead and get on to the comic book. And before we end off this video, I'd like to show you guys the comic book. Um, this is a cover. This is for the Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, you do get another one for the Avengers Assembled. So on the front cover there, we can see all three of the sets. The Ambush, the um, Helicopter, and the uh, Electro set. And on the inside, it, it does start out with the Electro set, because that's the smallest. And let's flip to this set which is on this page. So, right there we have Doc Ock stealing the stuff. And he has all the gems. And of course, they save the day. Very cool, and it ends on that page. So just, just it's really nice that they do these because they're nice little uh, illustrations of the set themselves. So yeah, let's end off the video. Okay. Alright guys, so that is it for this review. It's a really great Ultimate Spider-Man set, and it's always nice to get a new big figure. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun to build, and I really do recommend it. Uh, now, like always, uh, my Twitter will be down in the description below for you to go and follow if you'd like. And also, speaking of likes, hit that like button. It does go a long way, and it takes no time at all. And for more of my videos, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.